option. At a block station, it is obligatory to provide signals for controlling the movements of trains. The stop and permissive signals dealing with the trains approaching the station are reception signals. The stop signals dealing with the departing trains from the station are dispatch signals. Reception signals. Stop signals. Home signal. Routing home. Outer signal. Permissive signals. Warner signal. Distance signal. Dispatch signals. Starter signal. Routing starter. Intermediate starter. Advanced starter. Signals for reception of trains. Permissive signals. Permissive signal in two aspect signaling is called warner signal. It is used to warn the local pilot that he is approaching a stop signal. It informs about the condition of run through train via main line. Permissive signal in multiple aspect signaling. Permissive signal in multiple aspect signaling is called distance signal. It indicates the local pilot that he is approaching stop signal. It is to indicate the local pilot about the condition of the stop signal ahead. If the sectional speed is 110 km per hour and above, two distance signals shall be provided. In such a case, the outermost signal is called distant and next signal is called inner distant. Stop signals. Reception signals in two aspect signaling. Outer signal. A station where two stop signals are provided in approach, the first one is called outer. It is the first stop signal and is in rear of the home signal. Home signal. A stop signal that permits the entry of train into station is called home. In two aspect signaling, it may not be first stop signal. It is provided for each reception line. Routing home signal. In big yards, an additional reception signal is provided between the home signal and the reception lines, as the only one home signal will not be sufficient to differentiate the reception line. Stop signals. Reception signals in multiple aspect signaling. Home signal. A stop signal that permits the entry of train into the station is called home. If there is more than one reception signal, it will be the first stop signal of station. Proceed aspect of home signal for main line indicates run through of train on main line. Routing home signal. In big yards, an additional reception signal is provided between the home signal and the reception lines. Signal has route indicator to indicate reception line. Signals for departure of trains. Signals governing the departure and exit of trains from a station are only stop signals. Designations of departure signals are same for two aspect lower quadrant, multiple aspect upper quadrant and multiple aspect color light signals. Starter signal. Where the departure of trains is governed by only one stop signal, it is called starter signal. It is the last stop signal of the station in the absence of an advanced starter. Routing starter. If two or more diverging lines are there, then a routing starter is provided. Intermediate starter. 
At junction stations, intermediate starter is provided between starter and advanced starter if necessary. It is placed in rear of the point or clearing the fouling mark, which it protects. Advanced starter Where departure of trains is governed by more than one stop signal, the outermost stop signal is called advanced starter. It shall be the last stop signal of the station. It shall be interlocked with a block instrument. Where advanced starter is not provided, then the starter is interlocked with a block instrument. Aspect sequence or control charts. It is interdependence of aspect of the reception and dispatch signals. These aspects provide precise information to loco pilot. Aspect of the permissive signal depends upon the reception signals ahead. Aspect of the reception signals depend upon dispatch signals ahead. Advantages of double distance signal. Approaching signals used in two aspect signaling. Aspect control chart. When Warner outer and home signal display stop aspect, that is, red light, it indicates the local pilot to stop at outer signal. When Warner displays stop aspect, outer and home signal displays proceed aspect, that is, green light, it indicates the local pilot to enter the station, stop at starter of concerned line, if on. When Warner at proceed, outer and home signal, Main line starter, advanced starter displays proceed aspect, that is green light. It indicates for run through via main line, all signals ahead are off. Approaching signals used in multiple aspect upper quadrant signaling. When distance signal displays caution aspect, the arm is horizontal during day and yellow light during night. It indicates the local pilot that home signal is at on and to stop at home signal. When distance signal displays attention aspect, the arm is at 45 degrees above the horizontal during day and two yellow lights during night. It indicates the loco pilot that home signal displays caution with route. Hence, train is going to be received on any one loop line. When distance signal displays proceed aspect, the arm is at 90 degrees above the horizontal during day and green light during night. It indicates the loco pilot that home signal is at caution. Hence, train is going to be received on main line and starter may be at on. When distance signal displays proceed aspect, the arm is at 90 degrees above the horizontal during day and green light during night. And if the home signal is at proceed aspect, it indicates the loco pilot Main line starter at proceed and advanced starter at proceed and train is on run through via main line. Approaching signals used in multiple aspect color light signal. When distance signal displays caution aspect, yellow color light, it indicates the local pilot that home signal is at on and to stop at home signal. When distance signal displays attention aspect to yellow color lights, it indicates the loco pilot that home signal displays caution with route. Hence, train is going to be received on any one loop line. When distance signal displays proceeds aspect green color light, it indicates the loco pilot that home signal is at caution. Hence, train is going to be received on main line and starter may be at on. When distance signal displays proceed aspect green color light, if the home signal is at proceed aspect, indicates the loco pilot main line starter at proceed and advanced starter at proceed and train is on run through via main line. Using two distance signals in approach, multiple aspect color light signal. When distance signal displays attention aspect, that is two yellow lights, then inner distant is at caution aspect that is yellow light and home signal display stop aspect that is red light. It indicates the loco pilot to stop at home. When distance signal displays attention aspect that is two yellow lights, then inner distant displays attention aspect that is two yellow lights and home signal displays caution with root aspect 
it indicates the local pilot to enter on loop line. When distant signal displays proceed aspect that is green light, then inner distant displays attention aspect that is two yellow lights and home signal displays caution. It indicates the local pilot to enter on main line if main line starter is at on. When distant signal displays proceed aspect that is green light, then inner distant displays proceed aspect that is green light and home signal also displays proceed. It indicates the local pilot that main line starter and advanced starter will be at proceed, that is, to run through via main line. Advantages of double distance signal The run through condition is indicated to the local pilot by proceed aspect of the inner distance signal, that is, 1000 meters in rear of first stop signal. The reception on main line is indicated at distant signal by proceed aspect that is 2000 meters in rear of first stop signal. Hence, the confidence level of local pilot increases and he can regulate the speed accordingly which leads to increasing section capacity. Departure signals in two aspect signaling. When starter signal displays stop aspect that is red light Advanced starter may also display stop aspect which indicates the local pilot to stop in rear of starter. When starter signal displays proceed aspect that is green light, advanced starter may display stop aspect which indicates the local pilot to shunt up to advanced starter. When advanced starter displays proceed aspect that is green light, then starter will display proceed aspect indicating local pilot that the line is clear and to proceed. Departure signals and multiple aspect signaling. When loop line starter signal displays stop aspect that is red light, advanced starter displays stop aspect that is red light, it indicates local pilot to stop in rear of loop line starter. When main line starter signal displays stop aspect, that is red light, advanced starter displays stop aspect, that is red light, it indicates the local pilot to stop in rear of main line starter. When loop line starter signal displays caution aspect, that is yellow light, advanced starter displays stop aspect, that is red light, which indicates the local pilot to shunt up to advanced starter from loop line. When main line starter signal displays caution aspect that is yellow light, advanced starter displays stop aspect that is red light, which indicates the local pilot to shunt up to advanced starter from main line. When advanced starter displays proceeds aspect that is green light, loop line starter signal displays caution aspect that is yellow light, which indicates the local pilot to proceed from loop line to next block station. When advanced starter displays proceeds aspect that is green light, main line starter signal displays proceed aspect that is green light, which indicates the local pilot to proceed from main line to next block state. Signal arms must be fixed on left side of the post. Signals should not infringe schedule of dimensions. Signals are normally located on left hand side of the track unless there are visibility problems with respect to direction of traffic. In such case, signals are located at the right hand side under condemnation by Chief Operating Manager and Chief Signal and Telecommunications Engineer. It should be aligned to display best view of the aspect and avoid mistaking aspect with any other signal. Generally, braking distance is to be maintained between distant and home signal. Home signal and starter. Independent warner and outer. Overlap. Signal overlap for home signal and block overlap for last stop signal according to the signaling system is provided. Signals in lower quadrant signaling. Warner signal. Independent warner. 
not less than 1,200 meters in rear of first stop signal. Gate stop signal unless approved by special instructions. General Rule 3.067 Shall not display proceed aspect unless the distance between gate signal and first stop signal of the station ahead is greater than 1,200 meters. Warner signal below stop signal with outer on the post 1.5 meters to 2 meters below the outer with last stop signal on the post 1.5 meters to 2 meters below the last stop signal under special instructions signal engineering manual 7.14.5 C outer signal on single line at 400 meters in rear of the opposing last stop signal. Or 580 meters in rear of home signal. On double line at 400 meters in rear of home signal. Home signal. It is provided as additional signal in rear of routing home signal in big or junction stations. Routing home signal. Fifteen meters in rear of the point which it protects, generally. Starter signal. It shall be not less than 400 meters in advance of home signal. 15 meters in rear of the facing point at controls. 15 meters in rear of the fouling mark which it protects. Outside the connection of the lines, if one starter is used for two or more converging lines. Routing starter. This is provided at junction stations where the destinations from a station are more than one. Intermediate starter, 15 meters in rear of the facing point or fouling mark which it protects, generally used in junction or big stations. Advanced starter, on single line, not less than 180 meters from the outermost trailing points unless approved by special instructions. Signal Engineering Manual 7.16.6 on double line, not less than 180 meters from the starter signal and under special instructions from outermost point or fouling mark. Location of signals in multiple aspect signaling, distant signal. At 1000 meters in rear of first stop signal or gate signal. Home signal on single line at 180 meters from opposing last stop signal or 300 meters from outermost points on double line at 180 meters in rear of first facing point. If the first point is trailing point, then 180 meters rear of the block section limit board. Routing home signal. 15 meters in the rear of the point which it protects, generally used in junction or big stations. Routing starter. This is provided at junction stations where the destinations from a station are more than one. Starter signal. 15 meters in rear of the facing point at controls. 15 meters in rear of the fouling mark which it protects. Outside the connection of the lines, if one starter is used for two or more converging lines. Intermediate starter. 
15 meters in rear of the facing point or fouling mark which it protects, generally used in junction or big stations. Advanced starter A single line not less than 120 meters from the outermost trailing point unless approved by special instructions. On double line not less than 120 meters from the starter signal and under special instruction from outermost point of fouling mark. Modified lower quadrant. It is the development of lower quadrant signaling which will give optimum advantage as multiple aspect signaling for increasing section capacity without changing existing signaling equipment was being used in few sections of a railway has now become obsolete. Location of signal in multiple aspect color light signal. Single line yard. Dud. Subsidiary signals. Description. Signals which control the movement of trains within the station section, such as shunt signals and calling on signals, are called subsidiary signals. Shunt signals. These signals are meant to control the shunting movements in the interlocked station within the station section. Signal Engineering Manual 7.20. It is used for the purpose of attachment, deattachment, placement of any vehicle to or from a train with the engine. Shunting may be performed in the block section also with block protection. It is a subsidiary signal. It can also be placed below any stop signal other than the first stop signal. When placed below stop signal, the on aspect of the signal is dispensed. It does not show light in the on position. When it is taken off, it authorizes the loco pilot to draw ahead although the stop signal above it is at on. It can be placed on an independent post close to the ground. More than one shunt signal can be placed on an independent post, one below the other. The topmost signal reads leftmost line. Second top reads to second left line and so on. When calling on signal as well as shunt signal is placed below stop signal, then the calling on signal will be placed above the shunt signal. Shunt signals authorizes train movement in the station section only at certain slow speed as to be able to stop short of any obstruction. These signals are available in three types. Miniature semaphore arm type, disc type, position light type. Miniature semaphore arm type, under special instructions. It may be a miniature semaphore square-ended arm painted in. Red with white bar at front side. White with black bar at rear side. Disc type. It is a disc painted in. White with a red bar across it at front side. White with black bar across it at rear side. Position light type. It is a position light signal displayed by two lamps. It is a rectangular unit arranged with three lights in a triangular fashion and painted in. Black at front side. Silver white crossbar on black background at rear side. It has an arrow painted in white on red background placed above the unit and refers to the concerned line. The aspects and indications of a disk type shunt signals in two aspect signaling territory. 
Aspect Control Chart. The stop aspect for disk type shunt signal is horizontal red bar during day and red color light during night which indicates the loco pilot to stop dead. The proceed slow aspect for disk type shunt signal is red bar at 45 degrees below horizontal during day and green color light during night which indicates the loco pilot to proceed with caution for shunting. Aspects and indications of disk type shunt signals in multiple aspect signaling territory. Aspect control chart. The stop aspect for disk type shunt signal is horizontal red bar during day and red color light during night which indicates the loco pilot to stop dead. The proceed slow aspect for disk type shunt signal is red bar at 45 degrees above horizontal during day and yellow color light during night which indicates the loco pilot to proceed with caution for shunting. Position light type shunt signal. Aspect control chart. The stop aspect for position light type shunt signal is two horizontal lunar white lights which indicates the loco pilot to stop dead. The proceed slow aspect for position light type shunt signal is two inclined lunar white lights which indicates the loco pilot to proceed with caution for shunting. Calling on signals. A calling on signal is provided to receive a train on an obstructed line. It calls on the loco pilot of a train to draw ahead with caution even though the stop signal above is at on. After the train has been brought to a stop, it is a subsidiary signal which has no independent aspect in the on position. It can be placed below at any stop signal except the last stop signal of the station. It indicates the loco pilot to stop short of any obstruction. Calling on signal is of the following types. Calling on semaphore arm lower quadrant and upper quadrant. It is a short square ended arm painted in. White with red bar at front side white with black back at rear side. Calling on color light signal. It is a miniature color light provided with a C marker. It is a small unit fixed below a stop signal. It is displayed with miniature yellow light when signal is taken off. Color light type calling on signal into aspect signaling territory. Calling on signal is provided in two aspect color light signal also. Color light type calling on signal in multiple aspect signaling territory. Aspect control chart. The stop aspect of color light type calling on signal does not display any light which indicates that loco pilot shall obey the aspect of the stop signal above it. The proceed slow aspect of color light type calling on signal is yellow miniature light which indicates the loco pilot to draw ahead with caution and be prepared to stop short of any obstruction after stopping for predetermined time. Shunting permit indicator that is SPI. It is provided at major stations where uninterrupted shunting is required in both the directions towards shunting neck and other connected lines. It is not a stop signal but an indicator. It is made visible from both sides. It is operated by ground frame and works in conjunction with the shunt or stop signal that is either of them can be taken off at a time. When shunting permit indicator is at off, shunting movement is carried towards shunting neck to and fro. When shunt signal is at off, shunting movement is carried out from coaching yard towards main yard.
it is of the following two types. Disc type, painted in black with yellow crossbars. Light type, illuminated yellow cross. The shunting permit indicator displays yellow cross light when shunting is permitted and no light when shunting is not permitted to shunting neck, to and fro. Other miscellaneous signals. General rules 3.15 It is a duplicate signal. It is provided in two aspect signaling when the signal is not continuously visible to the loco pilot due to an obstacle to the line of sight such as bridge. In co-acting signal, two arms are directly connected to each other and placed at such a distance that at a time minimum one arm of the two will be visible to the loco pilot. Repeating signal. General rules 3.16 Generally, this signal is provided in two aspect signaling. It is also provided where the prescribed visibility of the stop signal is not available to the loco pilot due to curvature of the track, heavy regular rush of passengers on the platform, any obstacle due to geographical condition. It is provided at an adequate distance in rear of the stop signal, which it repeats. The combined visibility of the signals is more than the sighting distance. As the loco pilot is not required to stop at this signal, the R marker is fixed on the post. R marker is painted in black with white background for banner or semaphore type. Illuminated R marker is fixed on the post of color light repeating signal. It is available in three types which are banner type, semaphore arm type, color light type. Repeating signal banner type. It is a disc painted in white with a yellow bar in between two black bars across it at front side, black at rear side. It does not have a night aspect. Semaphore arm type. It is a semaphore square ended arm painted in yellow with black bar at front side, white with black bar at rear side, color light type. Repeater signals have two aspects out of which only one is lit at a time. On aspect displays yellow light that indicates the signal which it repeats is at on. Off aspect displays green light that indicates the signal which it repeats is at off. Table for repeating signal in color light signal. When the repeating signal is at on, displaying yellow and stop signal displaying red, it indicates the loco pilot to be prepared to stop at stop signal. When the repeating signal is at off aspect displaying green and stop signal also displaying green, it indicates the loco pilot to proceed. Distinguishing signs. To indicate the special feature of the signal, some markers and signs are fixed either on the semaphore arm or on the post of the signal. Sign fixed on the semaphore signal arm and color light signal. One black ring O is fixed on the semaphore arm of the approach stop signals for goods yards line. One black D is fixed on the semaphore arm of the approach stop signals for dockyard lines. One cross X is painted in silver white on any type of signal not in use. Markers provided on the signal post. To indicate the special feature of the signal, some markers are fixed on the post of the signal. Indicators Point indicator These are appliances fitted to and working with the points which are not directly interlocked with signals to indicate. 
the local pilot and the points man regarding the points set for straight line or a turnout in both directions. For straight line, it shows a white target by day, a white light by night. For turnout, it shows no target by day and a green light by night. Trap indicator. These are appliances fitted to and working with the trap points, which are not provided with signals to control the movement over the trap point and to indicate. The loco pilot and the points man regarding the trap point is closed or open in both directions. For trap open position, it shows red target by day and a red light by night. For trap closed position, it shows no target by day, a green light by night. Table for point and trap indicator. In normal position, the point indicator displays white target during day and white light during night and trap indicator displays red target during day and red light during night. In reverse position, the point indicator displays no target during day and green light during night and trap indicator displays no target during day and green light during night. Root indicators and junction indicators. In color light signal, wherever there are diverging lines, root indicators are provided on the signal. Root indicators indicate a specific reception line and destination of the train movement. It is available in three types, which are stencil type, multi-lamp type, directional or junction type. The stencil type route indicator can display maximum four routes. Stencil type and multi-lamp route indicator may display for main line also. Under approved special instructions, the multi-lamp route indicator can be fixed on the semaphore signal. In such case, the first facing point shall be fitted with point indicator. Where speed is more than 15 km per hour, the directional type route indicator shall be provided. The directional type route indicator does not display for main line, can display three routes on either side of main line. Starter indicator Signal Engineering Manual 7.42.4 the guard requires to know the aspect of starter before allowing loco pilot to start the train. If starter is not visible to guard due to curved platform or otherwise, in such cases the starter indicator is provided at convenient place as an aid to guard. It has only one yellow aspect which is lit when starter is off. Shunting limit board. It is Provided in Class B station on single line where shunting in the face of approaching train is permitted. Placed to demark end of station section and starting of block section. A rectangular board in yellow paint with a cross in black color with a legend shunting limit board at the bottom. Fixed on the post painted with alternate white and black bands. Provided with light to identify the legend during night visible from both directions. Placed at a distance of signal overlap from outermost point of the station facing towards the station. Warns the loco pilot or shunting staff the limit up to which shunting can be performed. On evolution it is replaced by the provision of advanced starter. Block section limit board. It is provided in Class B station. On double line where shunting in the face of approaching train is permitted. In multiple aspect signaling territory where first point is a trailing point or no point. Place to demark end of station section and starting of block section. 
A rectangular board in yellow paint with a cross in black color with a legend block section limit board at the bottom. Fixed on the post painted with alternate white and black bands. Provided with light to identify the legend during night, visible from both directions. Placed at a distance of 180 meters, that is, block overlap from first stop signal facing towards the station. Warns the loco pilot or shunting staff the limit up to which shunting can be performed and protects the fouling. S marker board. It is a circular board with letter S painted in black on a yellow background. The board is fixed on a post which is painted with white and black bands alternatively. It is provided at intermediate sidings. Warning boards. These are the rectangular boards placed on the left hand side of the track in rear of first stop signal. It is provided to warn the loco pilot that he is approaching stop signal. These boards are provided with reflectors so that it shall be visible during the night. It is fixed on the post painted with alternate yellow and black bands. Passenger warning board. This board is painted in yellow with diagonal black strips. It is placed at a distance of 1000 meters in rear of first stop signal in lower quadrant signaling only. Goods warning board. This board is painted in yellow with two horizontal bands and a circle in between painted on black background. It is provided where the sectional speed of goods train is more than 72 kilometers per hour. It is placed at a distance of 1,400 meters in rear of first stop signal on level gradient. If there is a gradient falling towards the station in vicinity of goods warning board, the distance shall be suitably increased. Indication boards. These are the miscellaneous boards provided at approach of station to convey local pilot a change in block working and or type of signaling. The boards are rectangle in shape and will have suitable legend so as easily readable. The boards are Entering Token Territory Entering Token Less Territory Entering into Semaphore Territory Entering into Color Light Signaling Territory Entering Absolute Block Territory Entering Automatic Block Territory Backlight, arm and light repeater. General Rule 3.24 The aspect of the signal shall be visible to the operator of the signal. Where night aspect of the semaphore signal is not visible to the operator of the signal, a backlight shall be provided. Backlights of signal shall show a small white light when signal at on and no light at any other position. When backlight cannot indicate the aspect of the signal, an alternative arrangement shall be provided. Where both arm and light of the signal are not visible to the operator of the signal, then signal arm and light repeater or other arrangement shall be provided.